Hi everybody. Well, I have a little Apani, my little patternless spotted python um, with me. But today I want to talk about feeding your snake, not ones that have problems, um, but you know, just how often, what size feeder, when do I go up a size? How, how do I know? And when do I know? And a lot of you will already know. But many people ask me those questions. Um, should I up the size of my feeder? He seems to be more hungry. Uh, and we kind of do get to know when our snakes are hungry. They will let us know. Of course, we have snakes that will act like they're hungry, but you only fed them a couple of days ago, so you know they can't be exactly hungry. But what I'd like to say is feeding them. For me, for the first six to 12 months, I would much rather feed them a couple of times a week with smaller feeders, especially these guys carpet pythons a little bit different because of course they grow and they can grow rather quickly though some people are seeing my guys growing really slow but um, I'd say for the first year they are relatively slow in growing the second year you do start to see them grow the third year you watch them grow um, that's sort of what I've found anyway but these little guys, of course, would come and for me, this little girl was just eating little pinky mice. They're tiny. So of course she was getting a couple of feeders a week. What I do guys, is once they've put on a little bit of size, you can see the size of their girth. You can see the size of your feeder. And if their girth is the size of the next size up feeder, then that's time to go up to the next size. And not necessarily because they're looking around and they're hungry, while well, they probably are, if you're not feeding them to the size that they should be eating. So of course, little Apani these days is now on and she's going to want to do her usual is now on to fuzzy mice but she's eating a couple of fuzzy mice she is pretty close to hop well actually she is hopper size but I had a couple of fuzzies left so I figured I'd feed her a couple of fuzzies so now she will go up to her hoppers and she is now on a seven day routine with the bigger size feeder. As for my big guys, well, we know Jack, he should be eating what I would consider to be pretty much jumbo rats or at least extra large rats, but he won't eat them. He prefers a smaller feeder. Smaller feeder means I, means I feed him more often. So Jack goes 10 to 14 days on the large rat. If he was eating a jumbo, then he'd be 14 days to even three weeks. But he just refuses those bigger feeders. So there's no preciseness when it comes to feeding because sometimes your snake will tell you, no, I'm not going to eat that. So then you've got to think, what do I need to do? That's how I found it. But if you go by the girth and if the feeder is the size of their girth, you really can't be wrong on that. Now as little ones, they just digest really quite quickly. The older they get, 
the bigger the feeder gets, the longer it takes for them to actually digest their food. So of course the time between feeding them is going to be longer. It just goes without saying. But I always judge the feeder size by the size of their girth. Lily, she's on mice. Well, one mouse certainly isn't going to fill her up. Not two, not three, not four, not five. Maybe six, sometimes eight. I'll give her that six mouth, mouse, mouth, mouse. And if she yeah, isn't up looking again for another one, I pretty know she's had enough. I will offer it, but I've seen her look at it and turn away. Will a snake continue to eat and eat and eat? Not my guys. And that's not saying some won't, but I'm pretty sure once they're full, they know they're full and they're not just going to keep putting feeders down the back of their throat either. So, how often? The little ones, for about their first year, a couple of times a week. And once they go up to the next size feeder, which you'll tell by the size of their girth, you could extend that out to every fifth day. Of course, once they get to that 12 months of age, they should be on, like our Pani is, and she's on a hopper, she can now go a week between her feeds. And she seems quite happy with that. She's not telling me that she's hungry at all. Because then we have Maya, which I'll put a clip in here, who is also a spotted python, but she is now four years of age. And she is eating, well, she was eating large wieners, and went off them and decided mice was more to her liking. But she eats, some, they're not very big, the mice I get. She'll eat three of those. When you think of the size of Maya to the size of Lily, you think Lily would eat 12 mice, but she doesn't. Sometimes Maya will only eat two after a third and she's not interested. So, I can imagine why for some people it's very difficult because there's no standard. The standard for me is never feed them anything bigger than the girth. How often and how many, sometimes it's up to the snake. Of course I wouldn't offer her five hoppers or even three hoppers. One hopper is enough for her. You kind of get to know them and you get to know what is right and which is wrong and which sounds right and which doesn't. Um, so in a way you think this is an easy video to explain but it's, it's, it's kind of difficult because you know I look at my snakes and I know. I know if they're hungry, if they're not. I look at them and I know the size of them and the size of feeders. You know, Jack eating smaller feeders. Who'd have thought? You know, he, he just doesn't want to eat the bigger feeders. It's, it is just who he is. How often do I feed Jack? Every 14 days. Over winter, that can be every three weeks. So, it does chop and change. But offer them every week. Even so, until you get to know them really well. And then you figure out what their routine is that they're telling you is what they want. So I don't know if I've confused you or helped you and made you more confused about feeding them and when to up the size of their feeder um, just know when they grow, the size of their feeder grows. How often? 
you can't go wrong if you're offering weekly for their little ones. The bigger guys, a bigger feeder, they can go a little bit longer. And that can be 14 days. That can be three weeks. Watch your snakes. Of course, these little ones, they digest rather quickly. Now, bigger ones, because they're a bigger feeder, it can take them a little bit longer. Pinky rats, just remember, not a lot of nutrition in them. So they digest them rather quickly. So that is why I offered her two in a week till she hit the fuzzies. And then she went to every five days. And now she's on the hoppers. It's every seven days. She may, you know, when she's on to the weaners, because she's now on rats, she could go 10 days, 14 days. She'll let me know. And so will yours. No matter the species. Spotted to carpets, to boas, to ball pythons, all of them. They will tell you if you know your snake. So from me and a punny, you will take care of yourself, your family, your friends. Don't overfeed your snakes. But take care of your snakes and all your animals. Ciao.